And if you've resold any concert tickets and made a good chunk of change, the new shock could be coming to your wallet this tax season. A new IRS regulation will require ticket reselling platforms it's to pay big money, like Beyonce, Swift, Lionel Messi. Recently, the world came to know that people adore Taylor Swift, and people are spending a good fortune to be part of Taylor Swift or Beyonce's live shows. Taylor Swift's show no doubt was such a blast that it made her a billionaire. Yes, you heard it right. But this video is not about Taylor or Beyonce's income from their tours. It is about something that is scaring the celebrity show ticket wrestlers. Hey there, ticket sellers. Hold on to your hats because something new is happening in the ticket selling world, and taxes are stealing the spotlight. Yes, you heard that right. In this video, we are going to talk in detail about IRAs cracking down on ticket wrestlers, for which Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and other big names pay the price. If you are wondering what does all this mean? Trust us, half of the world is asking the same question. So here is our conscious effort to help you with some details. Since the ticket reselling tax ruckus, it has come to light that if you sell more than $600 worth of tickets, the people who run the ticket websites have to tell the tax folks about it. Yep, the ones in charge of taxes, the IRS, want to know so they can get their fair share. It's like the tax people are playing detective and saying, we caught you. This tax thing starts in 2023, so if you're selling tickets and making some cash, the tax collector might come knocking. Now here we have the fun part, the websites that sell tickets need to spill the beans to the IRS by January 31, 2024. That's their deadline. It's like the IRS is grabbing a front row seat to the big ticket selling show, ready to get their part. So if you're in the ticket selling game, get ready for this tax ride. The tax folks are now part of the crowd, and they're keeping an eye on your ticket selling fun. In the world of selling tickets, there's a new tax rule, and it's like a surprise at a concert. Hold on, because things are changing. Forget the old way where ticket websites told the tax people if sellers made more than $20,000 or did over 200 sales. Now it's just about the ticket price. This tax change is thanks to the American Rescue Plan, making 2023 a special year in the concert world. Imagine big tours like Beyonce's Renaissance and Taylor Swift's eras making headlines. But as these big shows about attention, problems in selling tickets came into view. Fans got upset, waving their foam fingers and asking the government to do something about ticket websites and those sneaky resellers. Why the fuss? Blame it on Ticketmaster's mistakes and the crazy high prices for resold tickets. The Wall Street Journal spilled the news, saying a regular Swift ticket on StubHub cost a huge $1,095. Oh my God, I could have paid a year's rent with this money. Now I understand how Taylor Swift got upgraded to the list of billionaires this year. That's a lot of money, way more than the new tax limit. Fans weren't happy, and the government listened. So the government came up with a surprise. Well, what's the big change? The IRS is doing things differently. Sellers only need to pay taxes if they make money from selling tickets. If you were just passing on a ticket to another fan without making cash, you're okay. But here's the tricky part. Sellers need to do some math and figure out if they made a profit. I don't know how a person will figure out the math in all this when half of the world is not even able to understand the rule. But it's okay, we the passionate people figure out things, right? Still a disclaimer, get ready for the confusion. When tax time comes in 2023, the IRS expects to hear about 44 million sellers from ticket websites. It's like a concert of numbers, each one dancing to its tax beat. Can you picture the ticket selling chaos as sellers try to understand this new tax stuff? When the authority first gave the thumbs up to this change, Janet Yellen, who's like the money boss, said it was to catch people dodging taxes and the rich folks. But hold on, because not everyone liked this idea. The Republicans said it was the government sticking its nose where it doesn't belong. Not too long ago, the House Ways and Means Committee agreed on a plan to bring back the old rule of $20,000. Senators Jared Brown and Bill Cassidy tried to team up and push for a change to $10,000. But things hit a roadblock in Congress, and for now, nothing's moving forward. It's like a game of tug of war on Capitol Hill. All of us know this is for the betterment of the state. Still, something inside us wants to ask, is it? Ha! Huh. However, it's a crazy journey, and we're in for some tax confusion. Fans, sellers, and the tax people are all part of this unexpected story. So get ready for the big moment where taxes take the spotlight and tickets become the stars.
Who thought selling concert tickets could be so full of surprises? Welcome to the front row of the tax season show. Did the news surprise you, confuse you, or maybe did nothing to you? Whatever you feel, do share your views on this new law in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like and share the video. For more such content, subscribe to our channel right away. Because we never fail to share industry gossip. Ha! Huh? See you soon in the next video. Till then, do the math for your ticket show.